Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare recommendations because there are a couple of retailers that currently have their summer sales going on and I saw a lot of my favorite skincare products that I keep repurchasing, I have been using for years and that's why I thought I'm going to come here and share with you my recommendations so that you can take advantage of the current sales. So Derm Store are currently having 20% off it includes most brands. I'm going to have all of the details in the description box below. And then we also have Violet Grey that are having discount right now. And then we have Look Fantastic. So I looked at all of these retailers and I see a lot of favorite skincare products that are quite pricey. So I thought it's going to be a nice time to share with you those favorites so that you can take advantage um, of them and probably try some new nice skincare products. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. If you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. Don't forget to let me know what are going to be your recommendations because I learned so much from you and I always like to try new products. I am addicted to trying new high quality skincare products and I, when I see a discount I always like to take advantage of that. So this video is going to be divided into different sections and I'm going to have timestamps in the description box so that you can easily go to the part of the video that you want to watch. I'm going to have also a dedicated shop list created for you that is going to include all of my recommendations. But I'm going to divide this video into sections. I'm going to start with cleansing cleansers. Then I'm going to move on to serums, uh, moisturizers, eye creams, etc. So be sure to check out the description box if you are not interested to watch the whole video. So starting with the cleansers, I have a few recommendations when it comes to cleansers and the first one is going to be the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Uh, this one is currently on discount and every time when I see this cleansing balm on discount I take advantage of that because this is one of my all-time favorite cleansing balms and then the other recommendation for a good cleansing balm is the Eve Lom Cleanser, which is the one that I'm currently using. So some of the products in this video, I'm not going to be able to show you everything because I'm very consistent with my skincare. I don't keep a lot of skincare products, but everything that I'm recommending, I've tried, tested, over and over again, so it's these are not new products to me. So the Eve Lom, I'm not sure if this is going to be very popular in the US, but it's a gorgeous cleanser. I love to use it to remove my face makeup and for my eyes I always use the Bioderma Micellar Water which is again currently you can get at 20% off. So I always like to restock on the Bioderma Micellar Water. So these two cleansers are going to be my recommendations. These are like some of my all-time favorite cleansers. I have been repurchasing them over and over again. The Elemis and the Eve Lom, these are two of my favorites. So the, uh, uh, the Evelon has like a very, I would say, relaxing scent, almost like essential oils. Then another one that I want to recommend is by Obagi, and this is the Gentle Cleanser by Obagi. This is a cleanser that you just have to wash your face uh, with this cleanser. can be used AM and PM. It's a very good one, and Obagi is generally a very good brand that currently is at 20% off at Derm store and I would highly encourage you to check out their vitamin A products, their vitamin A serums because I think that they have some of the best vitamin A serums. Another cleanser that I want to share with you and this is probably my all-time favorite, I just um, purchased a small size because I was traveling and I used it du during my travels, is by Sunday Riley and this is the ceramic slip. I have used this one in the past. I almost forgot how much I love it and now I'm waiting for 20% off at my local retailer because I want to get a full size of this one. Initially, I decided that I'm going to purchase this only for my travels, but then I just can't stop using it. I think that this is a very good one. Now, this one is currently not discounted. It's not on discount. However, it is so good that I just couldn't miss to mention this one because especially now in the spring, summer season, my skin gets a little bit more irritated and usually the skin, I believe that all people might experience some irritation, You're, we are getting more sun, so some extra gentle cleanser is always very welcome and this one is my favorite. Again, not on discount, but I just had to share this because I love it. Then I always make sure to restock on my favorite Aveen Thermal Spring Water. I use it all over my body, on my skin. If you're eczema prone, if you have sensitive skin, sensitive eyes, I would highly, highly encourage you to get this water. I have 
talked about this one so much in my videos and in so many videos. I am addicted to this one. I don't even know how many bottles I buy, but I always buy them in a bundle of two and like I go through those very quickly. Next, moving on to essences and I have two essences to share with you. Now, normally essence is not necessarily a step that everyone needs in their skincare routine. It's not an absolutely necessary step. However, there are two that I would absolutely recommend. One is by Caudalie, which is the glycolic brightening essence. This one is very, very gentle, can be used in the morning and in the evening before your serum. It's a lovely product that is suitable for even for the most sensitive skin. And then the other one is a little bit stronger in terms of it's not irritating, but you are going to see results faster. And this is the one by Ren. I currently don't have it, but this is the Ren steady glow daily AHA tonic. I usually use it only in the evening. However, it really gives a nice result on the skin. It really helps to brighten those dark spots and it helps also to prevent dark spots. So this one is very, very good one. Moving on to serums. Now for the serums, I want to start with one that is like one of my favorites. Um, for times when skin is irritated, for times when skin is angry, or just right now in the summer, when we tend to get a little bit of redness. I think that a lot of people tend to get a little bit of redness, a little bit of irritation. So this is by Elta MD. This is a very good brand, which is really hard to get a hold of in Europe, but I usually buy this through France in the US. And this is the Skin Recovery Serum. So this is only if you feel like you have very sensitive skin, which easily gets irritated. I think that it's an excellent serum to really help calm the, those irritations and it really helps to repair the skin's barrier. I think that it's an excellent serum. I could not recommend it enough. And then the other serum that I wanted to recommend is by Caudalie, and this is the Fino Perfect Radiance Serum. So this one is excellent for those of you who want to, who are prone to pigmentation, and if you want to prevent pigmentation. I think that it's a very effective, gentle serum that really targets pigmentation. However, it's really gentle. So if you are one of those people that can't use serums that target pigmentation because they can be a little bit harsh on the skin sometimes. I think that this one is an excellent alternative because it always works so nice. Now I don't have a lot of visible, like I don't have visible pigmentation on my face because I take care of my skin and I always make sure to use products to prevent pigmentation because I'm very prone to pigmentation. I have sensitive skin and that is prone to pigmentation. So I think that something like this, the Caudalie Serum is, for one, it's really moisturizing. It's a very nice hydrating serum. It has white milky consistency. And second of all, it really helps to prevent those dark spots and it helps to lighten dark spots, um, some sunspots. It really helps to brighten the skin if you use it over time. And if you combine the glycolic essence with this serum from Caudalie, I think that it's an excellent um, combination to really help prevent sunspots or treat existing sunspots. Next, moving on to moisturizers, and I have I have three expensive moisturizers to recommend and the others are more affordable. So I'm going to start with the anti-aging moisturizers and these are the Augustinus Butter, the cream and the rich cream. I think that these are excellent, especially for the summer season because they really are, some of them very good. Let's say these are some of the very, very good anti-aging creams and you can, basically skip the serum if you're using those. Um, so this is like the Augustinus Butter, the rich cream and the cream, choose depending on your skin type. So if you're oily, then choose the cream because it has a lighter consistency. Um, and then the rich cream is my favorite. Even though I have combination skin that tends to get oily, I find that the rich cream doesn't make my skin more oily. At the same time, it really helps to, like my skin looks, definitely looks better when I use these products. And once again, like my favorite is the rich cream for some reason. But if you're very oily and right now for the summer, I would say go for the cream just to be on the safe side. Um, and the rich cream is for those of you who have normal to dry skin or dehydrated skin, or if you don't experience a lot of oiliness, then you can just go ahead and 
um, get the rich cream because it has a more richer consistency but it really doesn't make the skin greasy it doesn't make the skin oily but I believe that these two creams they are worth the splurge if you have sensitive skin if you generally cannot use active ingredients let's say if your skin easily gets irritated when you're using different active ingredients such as vitamin C vitamin A products some people are very sensitive and I think that these two creams specifically are excellent um, I have a lot of moisturizers that I need to go through right now and that's the only reason why I'm not going to purchase right away but for sure if I see them on discount in some of my local retailers I'm going to purchase the rich cream because I really love the effect and once again like this is one of the moisturizers where I believe you can skip the serum and you can use only this moisturizer and your skin is going to be fine of course every skin is different so every skin is going to react differently to different products but I really love those too and then my other recommendation that again is um, more high-end is the Sisley Black Rose moisturizer I think that it's very suitable for spring summer season because it has a light almost like a jelly like consistency it's very light um, and I think that it's suitable for all skin types. However, if I had to choose, I would go for Augustinus Butter because the Sisley Black Rose Cream, I find that it gives really nice moisture to my skin, but doesn't really do miracles. So just to have the right expectations. And then for the other more affordable moisturizers that I'm going to recommend are uh, a couple of moisturizers from La Roche-Posay and a couple of moisturizers from Avene. Okay, so here we go. I always have one La Roche-Posay and one from Avene because they are very calming on the skin. And I usually have them and use them as SOS products because they are very suitable for times when my skin gets any kind of irritation. It's just my go-to product when my skin gets irritated. These are the only moisturizers that I use. So I only wanted to mention for Avene, it has a wonderful packaging that doesn't allow your fingers to get in contact with the product. So this is a very clean packaging, which I love. And if you have normal to combination skin, then choose the emulsion. This is the light one, which is the one that I'm using. And then if you have normal to dry skin, choose the cream because it's more moisturizing and it's a little bit thicker consistency and it's better, much better for those of you who have dry skin. Next, we're moving on to eyes and I have two eye products that I want to recommend. Both of them are from Sisley and they're currently on discount. So I am going to recommend the Sisley Black Rose Eye Cream, which is for those of you who want to moisturize the skin under the eyes. So this is a great eye cream that adds a lot of moisture to the under eye area, but without making it greasy. So if you are prone to milia under the eyes, I would say that this one is an excellent eye cream. I really, really love it. I only buy it when it's on discount. Um, because it's quite pricey for an eye cream and I like to treat myself to this eye cream only when it's on discount. And then the other product that I think could be like a must have is the Sisley Eye Mask. This is the only under eye mask I believe that I use and that I've repurchased in my life. Yes, this is definitely the only eye mask that I have repurchased actually ever repurchased. Like this is a really good moisturizing eye mask but that helps to plump those fine lines. Next moving on to a face oil and the face oil that I'm going to recommend is again by Sisley. This is the Black Rose Oil. I think that it's suitable for all skin types because it's not greasy and I like to use this oil. I currently don't have it and I'm probably going to purchase, I usually purchase face oils um, in the fall winter season but if you have dry skin or if you have an even skin a drop of this oil might make your foundation look so much better but don't overdo it like a drop of oil for the whole face is enough in the morning just to make the foundation look so much better the foundation to look so much smoother but if you apply more then it's going to look greasy of course so just don't overdo it a drop or two drops for the whole face it really helps um, to keep the skin moisturized and really helps to make the foundation look so much better. Moving on to face masks. I love using face masks. Now I'm going to recommend three face masks that you can currently get. One is 111 Skin. This is the purple mask. I absolutely love it. This is one face mask that I keep repurchasing. It 
it's really good to add a lot of moisture to the skin. I love those masks. They are really nice and I usually buy them, even if I don't have a discount, I would buy them because I find that they add just enough moisture to my face. I find that they really help my skin to look plumper, to, you, to look a little bit younger. I love them. So this one is worth checking out. Then the other two that, let's start with my number one mask. Uh, this is the La Mer Revitalizing Mask. I absolutely love this one. This is my all time favorite and probably most repurchased face mask of all times. I love this one. I use it very often, very regularly. And this one is the only one, the only mask that I would use if my skin gets some irritations or little red bumps. I find that it really sorts this out. It's an excellent mask. I, I've shown this mask actually from La Mer a lot of times. And then the other one is for those of you who are suffering from dehydrated skin. If you have either normal to dry or dehydrated skin. I think that this one is excellent. This is the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Sleeping Mask. I love this mask for times when my skin feels dehydrated, just like right now, because I find that even though I have normal to combination skin, I find that after 30, like after 32, 33 years old, I'm 36 now, my skin started to get a little bit dehydrated, especially in this right now when the seasons are changing. My skin is not dry, but it's dehydrated. And I find that this mask is very effective to actually bring back the glow in my face and to make my skin more smooth, more plump, more juicy, more, more youthful. I really love this one. And finally, last but not least, the most important thing probably, this is SPF. So I'm going to recommend a couple of very high-end SPFs sunscreens that I really like and I usually buy them when I see that I have a discount, I usually buy them. So the first one is my current favorite. This is from La Mer, it has SPF 50. This one um, adds a very nice glowy finish to the face. I'm wearing it today on my skin and it really adds that glow to the face. So I would say that if you have normal to dry skin, you're probably going to appreciate this um, sunscreen a lot because it really adds, it almost has those little reflective particles that can be visible only in the sunshine. They melt into the skin so it's not like you have glitter or anything on the face but it just gives this very beautiful, very luxurious glow on the face and I love this one. And then the other one that I wanted to recommend is by Dermalogica and this is the H Smart Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. This one is excellent, I believe, for all skin types. It's a gorgeous, one of my all-time favorite sunscreens, but I only buy it when it's on discount because it is quite pricey. However, I think that it's a really good one. And I forgot to mention one more face mask that I wanted to share with you. This is the Glycolic PO Mask from Caudalie. If you're looking for a nice mask with glycolic acid that is gentle to the skin, I think that this one is really excellent because it helps to exfoliate the skin gently. It doesn't cause any irritation. This is a face mask that I have been repurchasing over the, over the years. So these are my skincare recommendations. I also created a dedicated list for my hair care recommendations and all of the hair care products that I use because during my, I did a QA and a on Instagram like last Sunday and a lot of you asked me to share with you what's my hair care routine so I shared um, I created a whole list where I listed all of the products that I most often use I usually don't change the hair products that I'm using um, so I'm going to have a link in the description box in case you want to check that out and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendations if you see any brands that we should try any products that are really good and worth purchasing right now during the sales. Please let us know. It's going to be helpful for our whole community. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.